Autumn is the best season for fashion. You can start layering more pieces to create more interesting outfits. You get the best of the cooler and the warmer temperatures and you have more freedom to start playing with just like more pieces in your wardrobe. I have five key pieces for you to style this autumn. As always, they are pretty classic pieces. So you probably already own something similar in your own wardrobe and now's the time to start getting them out. And I'm gonna show you how I will be styling them this autumn to hopefully give you some inspiration. If you're new here, hello, my name is Adeline. Welcome. <laughs> I make style videos here on YouTube. Please make sure you're subscribed because I make videos like this every week and a like and a subscribe really go a long way to help out my channel. I wear denim jeans pretty much all year round. They are somewhat of a uniform piece for me, but when the cooler temperatures start to creep in, I do tend to gravitate towards my darker wash denim. And I have two pairs from a brand called Fonette to show you, and this part of the video is in collaboration with Fonette. They are a relatively new brand based in the US. The jeans are designed in Chicago and they're made in California. They have small limited releases consisting of staples and they currently have three styles out right now. So they've got a low rise, a mid rise and a high rise. I personally don't wear low rise jeans or trousers because I don't find that to be the most flattering on my body type. So I have the mid rise and the high rise styles to show you. The mid rise is in a really flattering boot cut. It skins your thigh and then you've got a little bit of a flare at the end. Perfect to wear with boots for the autumn season. The slight flare at the end also works really well just to elongate your legs, which is something that I always look to achieve in my outfits. Now, full disclaimer, I did have to get these hemmed because their jeans do only come in one leg length. So I did take them to the tailor and I was a little bit worried that that might skew the kind of boot cut of them, but it doesn't at all. You still get a really nice flare at the end. And so if you are on the petite side like me, you can still get these hemmed and not ruin the tailoring of them. The mid-rise cut on these hits me just below the belly button, which I find to be really flattering and really comfortable as well. And we all know how important the back pocket placement is on a pair of jeans. And I really like where they've put the pockets actually. It really helps to complement and lift the bum. So here I've worn these with a pair of low heeled pointed toe boots. And this combination together just makes your legs look so much longer and leaner. And then I've just paired them with an oversized white shirt. I think this is the perfect smart casual look. I feel really put together in this, but not in an overdone way. For a more casual look, I have changed the boots to a pair that have a more squared off toe. And do you see how that small change just makes the outfit look so much more casual? And then on top of that, I have a vest from Arquette, another great transitional piece for autumn. I love vests because they really give you that versatility of being warm, but also your arms are free. So you have that breathability as well. So moving on to the high rise pair now, and these jeans are in a skinny fit. They have a five button fly closure and the buttons are really unique and they're actually on all of their jeans. The rise sits just on my belly button, which I personally find to be the most flattering because it's the smallest part of my waist. And again, the pocket placement on the back is very, very complimentary on your behind. <laughs> and because the jeans have 2% elastane in them, they have that little bit of stretch, which means they fit really comfortably on you, which is kind of exactly what you want on a pair of skinny jeans. You don't want that stiff denim. You still want to be able to move in them, which you can in these because of that 2% elastane. To wear with these jeans, I've gone with a cropped t-shirt to really draw attention to that button fly because I think it's such a great detail. And then I've gone with an oversized blazer and loafers, really bringing out all of those classic autumn items that we can finally get to wear. I own and I've tried a lot of different denim. Like I said, jeans are kind of like a uniform for me. It's what I reach for when I don't want to think. It's what I reach for when I don't know what to wear. I love that they can be dressed up or dressed down. And so I have quite a few pairs of jeans. And I really feel as if I can tell that Fanette have really done their work and research 
into the details and what makes a really good pair of fitting jeans. I think this dark blue wash is great for autumn and these two pairs of jeans are definitely going to be staples in my autumn wardrobe. You can shop all of Finette's styles in the description box below and hopefully you'll be able to find a pair that you love. The next key piece that I will be styling once the weather cools down is leather anything. I love leather for adding texture and edginess to any outfit. I think a leather skirt is a great option whilst we're still in that summer to autumn transition. You can wear a skirt and still have your legs out, but by adding in that leather texture, you are slowly transitioning to the new season. We're not quite there yet, but I'm really excited to get my leather trousers out this season. I have a cream pair that I got at the end of last winter, so I didn't get to wear them as much as I wanted to. So I'm really gonna be getting my cost per wear out of them this autumn winter. And I'll be styling my leather trousers how I normally style my denim. So with t-shirts, with shirts, with sweaters, anything I will style my leather trousers with. Until that time comes when the weather is appropriate for leather trousers, I think leather outerwear is probably our best bet. I truly think leather outerwear is timeless. Take this brown leather jacket for example. It's in a really distressed wash which makes it look vintage and because of the vintage look it just gives off that really classic and timeless feel. I also think brown is a really great alternative to black it's not as dark and sort of aggressive as the color black, but you're still bringing in those warm tones for autumn. For something a little bit more polished, you can try a leather blazer. I don't know how it's taken me this long to finally own a leather blazer, but I finally have one in my wardrobe and I think I found my perfect oversized one. I can see myself wearing this on top of so many outfits and it instantly gives it that autumnal feel. And I also like the kind of oversized fit because it means I can layer underneath and really kind of extend the time that I can wear this jacket. Autumn means trench coats, which is probably one of my favorite pieces of outerwear. The question isn't what can be worn with the trench coat, but it's what can't be worn with them, because I really think you can style trench coats with pretty much anything. I have a leather trench, which I bring out whenever I can, and it's just kind of that perfect combination of the last key piece and this one. It's actually a vintage trench that my mum bought about, I don't know, 20, 25 years ago. She got it from Joseph, and I think it's the coolest thing ever. But of course, I will link to alternatives in the description box, leather trench coats, are kind of a trending item at the moment and so there are quite a few around. I think the fact that my trench is 20-25 years old and really similar styles are being sold today just speaks for itself. Whilst you might think it's a really trendy piece, it's actually a classic that you can definitely bring out year after year. Whenever I wear my leather trench coat, I feel like that is the statement piece, so whatever I wear underneath, I like to keep very simple. So such as here, I've got on just a high neck top, jeans and brogues, and I just let the trench do all the talking. If you want to go down a more traditional route, then now is the perfect time to invest in a classic cotton trench coat. Trench coats are just such an all round piece of outerwear. They can be dressed up, they can be dressed down, and they work for daytime as well as nighttime. One of my favorite things to do when we're transitioning from summer to autumn is to pair things that we wouldn't normally pair together. So in this instance, it's pairing sandals with a coat. And that's why autumn is my favorite season for style because you can really play with so many pieces in your wardrobe and make really fun and cool outfits that you can only wear for like that really slim amount of time and I always try and make the most of it. Not to mention a trench coat and jeans is one of the easiest and just most stylish combinations you can make for autumn. And with that base, you can change up the shoes, you can change up the accessories and create so many different looks. When it comes to knitwear, I do think there are a few key pieces that you can invest in to give you a really diverse range of looks and versatility, especially during the autumn when the temperature can fluctuate quite a bit. Like I've mentioned before, I think vests are a great transitional piece, especially if you get a slightly lighter knit. I have a couple in wool and cashmere and they always come out this time of year. It's great for days when you're not sure if it's warm or if it's cold, 
because at least you've got the warmth from your chest but then your arms are out so it's not completely a, a really warm piece and you've got that kind of versatility to work with. And what's great about these pieces is that you can wear them alone or once it does dip a little cooler you can layer t-shirts or shirts underneath and so you can wear them in lots of different ways. I also think that slightly thinner knit cardigans are a great piece as well. With a cardigan, you can obviously wear you know, something underneath and wear the cardigan open, or you can button the cardigan all the way up and wear it as a top, which is kind of one of my favorite ways to wear my cardigans. In this time of year, I always bring out my favorite cardigans from Suzanne. I have them in two colors. They have many more colours on the website and I'm sure you've seen them all over the place because they really are that good. And mixing fabrics such as knitwear and leather or knitwear and denim is also another way to add that kind of texture and dimension to your outfits and just create more interesting colours and silhouettes together. As much as I'm going to miss the warm weather, I'm also really looking forward to styling my knee-high boots. I honestly think knee-high boots elevate any outfit. Whether you have a flat pair, a heeled pair, classic black pair or a mock croc pair, knee-high boots will see you through autumn and beyond. As we all know, trends are fleeting and boots are expensive, so I would definitely opt for styles that are really true to your own personal style. For me, I like ones that are in more of a classic shape, so either a pointed toe or an almond toe. I don't go towards anything that's too round or too square or even anything that is too chunky, I like to keep my footwear quite classic. And I definitely make sure that they're easy to walk in, so nothing too high either. And I really enjoy styling my knee-high boots with mini skirts, especially if you can start bringing in like wool mini skirts, I think that's great for that transition into the cooler weather. And of course, skinny jeans. You can tuck your skinny jeans into your boots and that's another great way to wear them. I hope that this video has given you lots of inspiration to go into the new season with. Big thank you to Fanette for sending over your jeans. I love discovering and sharing new brands. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.